What's going on, y'all? Y'all, look, a bitch just don't give a care no more. Um, <clears throat> my hair, I don't even care how my fucking hair look because, you know, it's fucked up at the moment. And it just is what it is because that's just how I feel about this whole experience of what <laughs> R&B Divas LA Season 3. It did not go the way that I thought it should have went. Nor... I don't know. Like, y'all fucking love that last... Uh, <laughs> look, I ain't mean to go in. No, fuck that. Yes, I did meant to go in. I meant to go in as hard as I went in last uh, last week on that fucking um, review. Fuck. Even Nikki Gilbert asked one of the pro executive producers of this damn show fucking re uh, uh, favorited my goddamn review. And let me just put this out there. And she wasn't here for the bullshit either. When we talk some shit about Nikki Gilbert. But, you know, at least she got credits and credentials and all that shit behind her motherfucking name. You know, she got some hits on the hub delts and shit. She doing some stuff, you know. But, um, before I really get into this review, because speaking about last week, and, you know, with all the bullshit that was going on um, in this whole season, <clears throat> I have to give a shout out to Leela James. Because Leela James, I believe she do watch my videos, and I'm pretty sure she watched the last week video, and... I went the fuck off, you know, her included, you know, and I'm the type of person that I am not going to sit here just because I like you, you know, I, I, I like Lita Jane, she's one of the people that I actually like on the show that don't give me no problems because I understand her attitude because bitch, I be the same way sometimes, you know, but I will call a motherfucker out when I need to call them out regardless of if I like you or not, and she hit me up on Twitter and basically was like, you know, I see where you're coming from, but it ain't no love lost, you know, but you got to look deeper and all this stuff. So we have this little conversation and see, I respect that for the simple fact that if you can take what I say in a mature way and not get pissed off and in your feelings just because I, you know, said what I had to say, you get all fucking respect for me because some people can't do that. You know, you can be cool with a person or like a person, but let you just call them out on some bullshit because you going off of what you see on the TV or whatever. You don't know what's going on behind the scene, but you just going off what you see on the TV. Let them get in their feelings and then, oh, they want to block and they want to say other shit. No, I had it happen to me before. We ain't finna go into that, but, um, you know, I respect the motherfucker who gets that and who can just watch my shit and take it in and be like, you know, I see where you're coming from, but it's still love there. But, you know, it's just a lot of stuff that's going on behind the scenes that we did not see. And I was like, I can respect that. I fucking respect that. And to this day, I still like Leela. And it is what it is. Even if I got something to say, I'm fucking say it. Because ain't nobody going to make me bite my tongue just because. But um, with that put aside, she did say it was some shit that was going on. Behind the scenes with Shantae and all that stuff. And, you know, <sighs> Stacey Francis ass. This bitch was all up in my mentions because, first of all, I was saying some stuff. Because I was just, uh, I was just disgusted how they did this whole thing with, this whole season, I'm telling you, it was fucking horrible. And it was horrible for the simple fact that you guys had a nice fucking premise, a nice purpose, a nice storyline, a nice theme that was universal and much needed and much awareness needed to be brought to it. Getting the awareness out about getting yourself tested for cancer. That was like one of the best themes ever, okay? Go out there, get yourself help. Let's get this project together. Donate some stuff to cancer and all this shit. And all this fucking, it seems like that whole premise of this whole season got put in the background over the dumb bullshit that was going on. And it just, it just pissed me off. And I'm not, <sighs> Stacey Francis, I honestly do believe that it still would have been some drama on the show, but it never would have been this much and this stupid of drama had that bitch would not been on here. I ain't biting my tongue for nobody. Look. That hoe was up in my mentions. I'm sorry. Kevin from Scorpion Show. He had retweeted something that, um, you know, Porter retweeted me. And because I said, uh, I don't even remember what I said, but I said something about, I guess, they being petty or some shit. Or 
I don't know what the fuck it was. And he was like, they all being petty. And I was like, yeah. Next thing you know, Stacey Francis just jumping in my mentions and his mentions and, 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 you know, just trying to talk to us about it or whatever. Girl, I wasn't trying to hear that. I wasn't trying to hear that. Oh, it was stuff going on. We did um tell Shantae that she shouldn't come and all that stuff, but she didn't want to film with us. She didn't want to do this and she didn't want to this and she didn't want to come and she didn't this and she didn't that. All I'm hearing is womp, womp, womp. Or looking at, and I'm seeing womp, 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 because I don't give a damn. These are grown fucking women, okay? And if we're going to do a real reality show and be 100% real in real life, you ain't going to tell me shit to do. And if I say I don't want to be with you, I don't want to hang out with you, I don't want to film with you, then damn it, bitch, I'm not going to do it. And if that's going to be a motherfucking problem, cut up my motherfucking contract and get me the fuck off this goddamn show. Y'all knew TV one fucking knew what the fuck they was doing when they put Stacey Francis on here. They knew it was going to happen. So I think it was all a fucking setup. And another thing with TV one, let me read y'all for a second. I am so tired. TV One and the people who produce this show, I am so tired of people saying, you know, you have the cast members and other people that work or whatever and surround it, always saying that, oh, you don't see what's going on. It's a lot of stuff that didn't, didn't get shown or, you know, shit was going on behind the scenes and, you know, all this shit. So you can't, so we getting pissed off because according to some of the um, cast members and stuff, it's shit that's going on that we don't know about. So we sitting here thinking like, damn, why are they jumping all up on this one person? So that's why we feeling the way that we feel because that's what being shown to us. Now, TV One, I think that's fucked up that you don't put everything out there. I mean, the editing is bullshit because how do you jump from Shantae being trying to get cool with everybody to all of a sudden everybody got an issue with her? And then it just looks so out of place starting with last week how Leela had an issue with Shantae and how quickly she got pissed off and how she got pissed off at her in the um in the um in the studio. And I'm like, so why won't they just show what the fuck happened so we can piece it all together and we can all be sitting here like, oh, I get it. Instead of us just going off and going in and saying all this shit. You know, I stand back. Every goddamn word that came out my motherfucking mouth and it's going to come out my mouth now. But I still think it was fucked up and I still think they petty. I still think they too fucking grown to be acting like this. And for Stacey Francis to be on this, bitch, you, you are the weakest link. You are the weakest link for this reason. No one saw it for your ass on this show. Barely no one knew who the fuck you were besides X fucking fact. Then, bitch, I had to look that shit up and I ain't even waste my time. I ain't look it up. I went with what everybody else said. Okay, fuck it. Bitch, the only time that I really knew of you was the shit because of the shit that happened between you and Whitney. Supposedly happened between you and Whitney. That's the fucking it. And um, you tarnished your motherfucking shit when that shit came out saying that you went up against Whitney. Like, girl, it was already fuck you then. Okay, because, you know. Hmm. So... Basically, you get on this show, instead of taking this, you know, you already got this, this drama on your, on your shoulders about that. You already got this misperception of you in the uh, media and all this shit. People don't know who the fuck you are. People don't know that you did have some of a career. You were in a group or whatever and all this stuff back in the 90s, whatever. No, we're not focusing on that. You did not use this platform correctly. Okay, what you did was come on here and instantly started fucking drama. I think of the show R&B Divas. I'm thinking of these divas who may have had some hits, been in the industry. They're trying to come back out. Why can't we focus on the fucking music and look at them trying to be in the studio, trying to get producers, trying to get their um voices back out there? No, it's all this fucking unneeded, unnecessary ass drama. Stacey Francis. You should have brought your ass on here. You should have made yourself likable to the point that, you know, made the public understand who you really were, what you really are, display fully your talents, okay? And your scenes on here should have been you trying to, you know, figure out where you belong at in this industry instead of trying to fit in with a group of people and make let them be your fucking friend. No, bitch, because at the end of the day, being their friend ain't going to put your motherfucking hit on, uh, uh, on the radio. Ain't going to bring a motherfucking CD out, okay? So stop that bullshit. You should have came on here, you know, 
trying to get in the studio, trying to work on, you know, getting your, your stage presence together, trying to get your performance level up, trying to work and get some producers and writers to help, you know, put out a single or whatever, and, and going, showing the struggles of being someone who was almost in the industry and almost made it, but didn't quite get there. Showing the struggles of how it is a middle-aged woman trying to get her foot back out there and not giving up on her dream of becoming a solo star or at least just getting a fucking hit out, a song out there to the public so that we can know something about you. No, you came on here instantly to start fucking drama. And that's what fucked everybody up with you. Okay, that's what you fucked up with, with everybody. We're not here for that bullshit. Because first of all, you, 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 you don't even... Girl, what? You came on this motherfucking show like you had credits, hits, accolades, and, and trophies, and, and all this stuff on your belt underneath you. Like you've been in this industry, and you had all this stuff, and you had the right to have this attitude. You have yet to earn that. You have yet to earn that. And then how dare your ass be up in this motherfucking studio when Shantae comes in, and it's not even your fucking song. It's Leela's song. It's Leela fucking project. Leela got all you bitches together. And then before Leela can even say, no, bitch, you're not finna sing on this song, you voice your fucking opinion in such a nasty-ass motherfucking way to Shantae like this bitch really did something to you. All because she didn't want to film with your ass? Bitch, I wouldn't want to film with your ass either. All because she didn't meet you up for that damn dinner? Bitch, Shantae said from what I heard that, yeah, they told me about it, but I never agreed to come. Okay, that's your fucking fault. That's your fucking fault. Once again, you're the one with the issue with Shantae. That we're, from what we're seeing on TV, okay? Just because she got some shit going on with her ex-husband. Bitch, let that be their relationship. Is you fucking Kenny? Is that your bitch now? No, it's not. So shut the fuck up. And then you just go on off and you better not step one foot back up in this studio. You better not get up in that boot. Who the fuck are you? Please tell me, who the fuck are you really? I really want to know this. Where and then y'all and, and it just irks me that people just going along with it and and, and and then they just like damn put that bitch on the motherfucking leech leech or some shit and they're like girl shut the fuck up and let other people that got the reason to handle this shit okay and um let me just tell you this Leela Shantae good because had you put your finger in my mm mm crack crack something would have went off <laughs> whoo them cameras would have caught all of that but um. Like I said, it is what it is. And then y'all getting mad and putting her off the song or whatever. But yet when Miss Shalay comes, y'all film y'all sent y'all put the song together and then y'all finally get Miss Shalay up in there because Miss Shalay had some other stuff and she did let y'all know that she wasn't gonna be there. And when she finally get there and y'all going through rehearsal for it and stuff, Miss Shalay sounds a mess. No shade. And I love me some Miss Shalay. Okay? Miss Shalay was horrible on that. You know, she wasn't really prepared. She wasn't in sync because she didn't know. I guess she wrote her own part. She didn't know what y'all was singing. So the stuff didn't mesh well. She was going over Leela stuff or running into her stuff. And I'm sitting here like, so y'all kick Shantae off the thing because of her attitude, quote unquote. But y'all let Sha uh, y'all was going to let Miss Shalay just get up here and freestyle this shit. Michelle should have been the one that was accident, okay? Bring Shantae back because, I don't know, it's something about Shantae's voice that makes her pop a little bit, okay? That's one thing. And then, little Mo. Little fucking rat tail head ass Mo. I just don't get it. And it irks me so much that I have to get on here and I have to read the fuck out of Mo like this in these past few... Because I liked... Lil Mo a lot. I like Lil Mo since she first came on the motherfucking scene. I like Lil Mo when she was up in the Missy. Hi, boys. Come on. You know, Lil Mo used to be that hook girl back in the day. And she just made the motherfucking songs go. And now I'm seeing her personality and how much of a fucking hater she is. And how much of a real friend she is not. I don't know if she's putting on for the camera or if this is really her. But, bitch, I don't need it. I don't want it. And I'm over it. Okay? You take issue and you take... You take so much issue with the smallest fucking thing, okay? You take issue with Miss Chalet. 
You know that girl that's going through something. Instead of being a real friend and trying to figure out what it is and holding her. I mean, you're not necessarily trying to hold her hand. But at least make it seem like a look like you're trying to be there. Yes, we all got other shit going on in our lives. But let the tables be in reverse. You would have been pissed the fuck off that Miss Shalay wouldn't be there by your side. You would have been going in on her because she wasn't there in your time of need. Okay? And then, you know, when they was at the House of Blues and Miss Shalay was going... She was having like a fucking panic attack on the day of the damn fucking um performance or whatever. A panic attack, anxiety attack. It does not take much to trigger these things, okay? And then you telling her that, hey, basically, you know, basically you ain't finna be on this motherfucking song. And she's feeling a type of way. And then, you know, you try to tell her that she's gonna go up first if she wasn't prepared. And, and, and here goes Stacy. Uh, she's just going crazy and stuff. I'm like, bitch, she's not going crazy. She's having a fucking panic slash anxiety attack. Okay, like I said, it can be triggered by anything. Being around you bitches, I'm pretty sure that's why. Okay, I'm just sitting here like, and then here go little Mo. I ain't here to be ho uh, uh, chasing after nobody. I'm like, what type of fucking friend are you? What fucking friend of you? Like, damn, you just, oh, like, yo, it's just disgusting. Let, you know, and then... After, after seeing last week when you talking about some, you miss your friend. You miss being able to call her. But yet she's going through something and you just standing there and bitch you know she ain't got the shit together. And instead of you going down there comforting her and trying to ease her mind and making sure that everything is okay. You just standing there talking about some. I ain't got time to be running out to nobody no more. Like girl what? <sighs> then you take issue. First of all let me tell you this. Michelle, that was fucked up. That y'all, it was disorganized to the point that if Michelle, you know, maybe it's because she didn't come in on time on all these rehearsals or whatever. But you know, I just didn't understand. Me and Kevin on, um, we sitting here like y'all said Shantae couldn't be on the song, but yet she can still be on the stage and sing her little part. I want not understand that either because if I don't want a bitch on the... I don't want to see the bitch, period. That's what I would have thought. That y'all didn't want to see the bitch, period. But she was still able to come on the... Mm, I guess. And she was one of the better singers. And, you know, I thought it was truly messed up. They should have let Misha Lake go at least to the middle or whatever so she can give her some time to prepare herself. Y'all already saw she was going through the anxiety things and she knew she fucked up and she was just fucking over it and I felt so bad for her and then when Shantae comes in so you take issue with the fact that she showed up a little bit late in the middle of the performances or whatever the fuck be glad the bitch showed up regardless with the way the child was treating her be fucking glad and then and then little fucking mo of all people to be talking about what somebody is wearing when Shantae was covered up, oh, you talking about some shit looking like she just coming back from paralegal office and, and all this bullshit, bitch. You sitting there looking like you got on the whole fucking hen house. Get the fuck out of here. I'm confused. Like, you take little issues to make fucking shade out of it. Like, for, for what? For what? And then she gives, she say, hey, the brave and all that shit. And only and I'm and brave is the only one who tries and do stay neutral and all this bullshit and I respect her for fucking that and of course Shantae gonna give her a hug and it did look like Shantae wanted to give Lil Mo a hug or whatever like she didn't know whether or not to say hello or to reach out for a hug or a handshake or whatever so she said you know so it can make it seem like hey bitch don't say that I didn't acknowledge you or didn't say nothing so she kind of did pat her on the head. And like the bitch that she was. But you know, it is what it is. So you take issue with that. Bitch, be glad that the motherfucker didn't come up in there and not say nothing to you at all. Because then had she not said nothing to you at all, acknowledged you at all, you would have took, um, you would have took, had an issue with that too. You would have had a fucking issue with that too. Girl, get the fuck. Get the fuck. I did love when Leela got up there with her, um, her friend and... They got up there and sang, and, you know, I was like, yeah, Leela Do had a voice like she was up in the choir, somebody choir, back in the day. And that was probably one of the most touching scenes of the whole um, episode. Anything dealing with Leela and her her sister, not her sister, her friend, and trying to get that, that was the highlight of the whole fucking season. Okay, fuck this drama and all this other stuff. That was the highlight of the whole fucking season. And I just, I'm just pissed off that this drama kind of overshadowed that. That was the reason why they was there to bring awareness to this. And all of this fucking drama just got... 
it was unnecessary. It wasn't even good drama either, okay? But, you know, Brave got out there. She did a little rap. She did a little song. I was like, okay, Brave, you know? Um, and Stacy got out there. We was like, what song she finna cover? Because I don't, girl, whatever the fuck. Bitch, whatever. And she was just off key and all that shit. Lemo, she got out, whatever. And basically at the end, they did the song together. They did all this bullshit to put this song together. And only four of them was on stage to sing that shit. I was like, oh, Unity, where is it? Not there. And I'm just like, you get to dinner and you're still talking shit about Shantae. Oh, she's not welcome. And she patted me on the head like a dog. And Brave tried to break it down and be like, girl, the bitch didn't really know how to say what to you because of the way that your ass acting so you know hey but of course she ain't trying to hear that and they just like oh she excommunicated out the group the fuck the whole fuck let me tell you something i'm the type of person i don't need to be in a group i don't need to be clicked up that does not determine my worth that does not determine who i am that does not make me feel good feel bad or whatever I don't need a group to uh, make me feel like I'm somebody or be a part of, uh, oh, this person like me, this person like me. I'm going to align myself with them. No, that's never been me. And that's how Shantae Moore looks like on this show. She like, fuck it. You don't want me around? I don't need to be around. If this is going to keep on continuing, Shantae, you need to get the fuck up off this show. TV One, y'all bullshitting. But, um, yeah, get the fuck up off this show because, obviously... It's always some drama ever since season two. Now, see, on season two, we could see the bitch that Shantae was being. Okay, so we if when we went off on Shantae season two, we understood that reason. Like, when y'all was going off, we understood that shit because, yeah, she was a bitch last season. This season, I'm sitting here saying, like, the fuck is going on? I don't see what she's doing wrong. But apparently some shit was happening behind stage and behind scenes and we not seeing it. And I'm like, damn, TV One, show us this shit so we can know. Like, what the fuck? But anyway, it ain't me, so I don't, yeah, yeah, my bad. But, um, y'all tell me how y'all feel. All I know is Wendy Williams is hosting this reunion, and I am very much here for it. And, um, yeah, I will see y'all later. I, ain't, I, I can't devote no more energy to this. Peace. Horrible.